Meanwhile, Pfizer says it can ship nearly 3 million doses right away across the U.S., most coming from two plants in the Midwest. They'll be loaded onto trucks within hours at the plant in Portage, just outside of Kalamazoo, and a center in Pleasant Prairie, Wisconsin. Grant Herms is live with how this all works. Grant, Michigan's playing a very big role in this process. Yeah, there is no doubt about that. Well, now that the monumental task of developing the vaccine is over, the gargantuan effort to ship that vaccine is only beginning. And tonight, there are already new concerns that that supply chain may be compromised. With the Pfizer vaccine set to roll out any day now, the plan to ship its state and nationwide already underway. Through Operation Warp Speed, led by the U.S. military, FedEx and UPS splitting the country down the middle. In Michigan, that means UPS will be delivering the state's 85,000 vaccines from the Pfizer cold farm in Portage. Those first vials will be loaded onto cargo planes and trucks in super cold conditions, likely right alongside holiday gifts. So far in the state, 48 hospitals and 12 local health departments have been chosen to get the first shipments of the vaccine. In all, that comes out to about 300 sites. In Metro Detroit, that includes Ascension, Macomb, Oakland and Warren and Beaumont in Troy. The doses that will be distributed to Beaumont really are the people's vaccine of the United States. Our obligation is to ensure that we keep health care capacity open for those that we serve. And but there are already questions about the security of the supply chain. Michigan Senator Gary Peters pointing that out in a Senate hearing on vaccines this week. Kim recently released a very disturbing report uh, detailing cyber attacks on COVID-19 uh, vaccine distribution infrastructure. And, and just uh, last month, a cold chain storage company also uh, reported uh, that they were the uh, target of a cyber attack. UPS and FedEx reassuring their systems and the vaccines are safe. Those data feeds are well protected. We have firewalls. We have all the necessary security. Now, true to his name, Operation Warp Speed is insisting that within 24 hours of FDA approval, that vaccine will be out to the places that need them. There's also some talk that those trucks with the doses on them could get police escorts because they are so important. Back to you. Well, Grant, what about that last step? So important, actually getting people to take the vaccine. Well, that's really up to hospitals and county health departments. Uh, right now, one in three people say that they have some element of mistrust in getting the vaccine. So health officials in those hospitals and counties have a lot of work to do. And coming up at 6 o'clock, I talked with some county officials today about what they're planning to do to get ready to distribute this vaccine. All right. Thank you, Grant.